What's up YouTube? So I don't plan on editing this. I think I'm just gonna throw it up because it's just like word vomit that I want to come out the way that it comes out and I don't want to edit it. I just want it, I just want it to be. Um, because this is just like a stream of consciousness about something that has been kind of rolling around in my mind for a couple of days and was kind of spurred at the moment a little bit ago by um, a direct message I got on Instagram. So I got a direct message on Instagram earlier today uh, from a girl who said, you probably won't, maybe I don't forget what she said exactly, like, you know, well, I guess I'll just pull it up. The problem with not editing videos is that now you guys have to sit through all of this. Um, just a girl who basically said, like, I see that, she said I, she wanted to sign up for my coaching, but she saw my prices were, were removed, and so my coaching was probably priced higher, and now it's overpriced, and she thought it was already overpriced before and she thought that I used to be super like relatable and now I'm not anymore and stuff like that. She said that she's sad after years of following me that I've lost my authentic voice. Blah 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 blah. I don't want to like read her whole message. I just don't want to like, I don't, that just feels rude but um and the whole the reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because like I've gotten a message like this probably once a month for the last three years. It seems that like every month or every few months as like I've been growing as a person and I've changed as a person and the way that I act changes or goes a different direction, there's always people that don't like the new me. They don't like the newer version of me. They're uncomfortable with the way that I act. They don't like choices that I've made, stuff like that. And with being on social media, I know that I'm always going to get that. Like it just being like, if you're on a stage in front of 20,000 people and you say something or tell a joke or do your hair a certain way, guaranteed there's going to be people in that audience that don't like it. They don't like your hair or your makeup or the way that you said something or the joke that you told. So like, I get that being on social media, this is a given, but it just makes me think about like just your average person who doesn't have a large social media following and how in general, we just change over time. We, we grow, we become more confident. Uh, you know, supposedly we should be changing forward, falling forward, failing forward, getting better at, at being us, getting better at having confidence in who we are and in our us-isms and in, in, in who we want to be and being able to be us unapologetically without trying to make a user-friendly version of ourselves. So. I feel like I've always been an expressive, extroverted person to a large degree. I'm very introverted in a lot of ways, but I've always been a sharer. I mean, I've had some sort of online blog or YouTube channel or social media accounts literally since I was like 14 or 15 years old. I've always wanted to share with people. And so I got used to the concept very early that you have to be careful with how you express yourself or share yourself because you can attract trolls or haters or just people who just like don't like the way that you say stuff, don't like your beliefs, don't like the way that you do things. And so I learned at a young age how to become this user-friendly version of Lynette, this like vanilla Lynette that can like relate to everybody and be everything for everyone. And I feel like from a young age, I started learning that and kind of carried that part of my personality for a long time and I feel like it was, I was starting to come out of my shell a little bit more when I like got on YouTube and like I was being myself and people thought I was funny or thought I was cool or whatever and like that, that was like, ah, cool, like me is cool, people like me. And so then I started coming out of my shell some more, sharing my, my struggles, the things that I deal with, the things that I'm upset about, the things that I'm hoping for, like all that kind of stuff. And as soon as I started letting more of like real me out, Immediately I started getting people who didn't like me, people who would message me and tell me all these things about me that I was this and I was that and I was fat, I was too skinny, I was disordered, I was orthorexic, I was, I, I, had, a, I had a bulimia or something like, all these opinions and some were not that extreme, some were just like, I just don't really think that you're this and you come off like this or like, I don't really like this or I like how you used to be like this and now you're like this and it's fake or it's something else or whatever and so like, it was like, oh, everyone likes me. Oh God, no, no, not everyone likes me. <laughs> like, it's this scary feeling of like, you reveal a little bit of yourself. Some people don't like it. And it may be like one out of a hundred people that don't like it, but it automatically makes you feel like you have to change something about yourself. And so from probably like 2014-ish until like probably just this past year, I really, really was so mindful about how people viewed me. And I was so 
Like every time I turned on my camera, it's like I just thought of one type of every kind of person. Like, all right, there's a vegan watching me and a meat eater watching me and my pastor watching me and my mom watching me and my clients watching me and my hater watching me. Like, so what can I do that makes them all happy? And I'm saying this from a social media perspective, but I feel like I can relate this to you because I feel like so many of us live our lives like that. I feel like we live in a way that we're trying so hard to make people happy. And if like one of these groups of people doesn't like something about us that we panic, like it's not okay to be that. And some of us are better at this than others. I know people who like from the get go have just been like, this is me, this is how I live my life. I don't care if people don't like it. I, I love those people. God bless you people in the world that are like that, who just like are unapologetically you. And you can tell when a person is really like that because when they're faced with criticism, they don't get defensive. If you are faced with criticism and you get defensive immediately, you still have an ego issue, a confidence issue, something. Because the person who's actually like self-actualized or is actually at a place where they like themselves, they don't have to get defensive. They can understand that other people just may not like them and that that's okay. But I'm getting a little off track, kind of like trying to tell my story, but you know, I remember, what was it, like two years ago or something, I found out that there was this like thread on social media somewhere where people were just bashing me and saying all these horrible things about me and speculating on my life. And so I went and read this stuff and it, oh my gosh, it crushed me. And I, I hate saying that because I hate giving power to those people. I hate letting those people know that like, their intent on making me super heartbroken actually worked because I, I just don't like to give that power to people. But if we're being honest, it did. It shattered my heart for probably a month where I was just, I was afraid to do anything. I was terrified every time I posted on social media. I was so afraid of what my haters thought. This group of like five or six or seven people out of the, I think I had 20,000 followers on Instagram at that time, maybe more, probably closer to 30, and like another five or 10 on YouTube. And I was so concerned about these five or six or seven people who didn't like me and their opinions, and I let it shatter me for like a month. And I swear to you that it changed me in such a weird way that affected me for a, a year and a half or almost two years, really up until like the middle part of last year that everything I said was so edited. Everything I said was so shined up and polished and not in the sense that I was like super like, mm, 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 mm. you know, I wasn't like that, but like everything I wanted to say, I ran it through 60 filters before I let myself actually put it out. My videos were super edited to show this like fun, like happy Lynette that didn't want to offend anybody and didn't want to take a stand on anything because I might make somebody upset. And when I put these videos in, I'm like, who could argue with this? Who could argue with this version of Lynette? Who could argue with this stance that I'm taking? And then when I would find somebody who still didn't like me, I would get so defensive because inside I'm like, I'm making the most user-friendly, awesome version of myself for you guys and you still don't like me? Like what's wrong with me? Like there's something so terribly wrong with me that like not everybody likes me. And this has just been a struggle. I think it's a struggle for everybody that we all have people in our lives that we're so concerned about what they think about us when in reality, who freaking cares? Like there, you have hundreds of people in your life, I'm assuming that know you and, and, and probably a good handful that know you closely. And there's people, you know, there's people in authority over us, like our bosses or people that we choose to be in authority, like our mentors or teachers and things like that. And there's so few people that should have a say in who you are. I mean, it's, you know, it's one thing if like 5,000 people out of 5,000 that know you are all like, dude, you have an issue going on, you need to handle it. That's one thing. But if you have, you know, dozens or hundreds of people in your life and one or two people don't like the way that you speak or one or two people don't like the stance that you've taken on something, one or two people think you're not your real self anymore. So what, you know, like you have to be so focused on who you want to be and what drives you and makes you happy. For me, my drive is always gonna be making God happy. I'm gonna always follow that. Even if people think that my direction is weird or I'm going down a wrong path, I'm gonna always follow what God puts in my heart. That's why I feel like I'm spitting this whole video, so I'm so sorry if that's the case, but that's why I spend an hour and a half with God every morning. That's why I spend five, six, seven days a week in God's word, reading the word for myself, praying every day, just trying to get that download from God, being like, God, what do you want me to be? Who do you want me to be? Where do you want me to go? And there's gonna be people who don't like that. There's people who don't believe in God. So don't believe in God. That has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with my future, or what I have feel in my heart I'm called to do. So be it, you know? And then the next thing of what I care about is my husband, what my husband and what I care about. My husband in my mind is like, 
an extension of me. So I first, I have to be okay with me. And then next, is my husband okay with me? Because, you know, he has to live with me. But my opinion of myself and God's opinion of me is always going to come first. So if you see me going in a direction, that's because it's what I feel like I need to do and what God feels like, what, and what I feel like God wants me to do. You know, obviously God's not writing me like a letter and sending it in my mailbox. That would be nice, but you know, that's why I spend time with God is so that my spirit stays sensitive to his spirit so that I can sense in me that gut feeling of knowing this is what I need to do. And I always know if it's right because I'll follow it and then I have peace or stuff starts to fall apart. And when I have peace, I know I nailed it. This is what God wanted me to do. This is what I need to do moving forward. Like this peace is how God communicates with us. One of the ways he communicates with us to let us know we're doing the right thing. Um, but as it relates to you guys, I just want you to say, find the people in your life that you let have any say in your life. You know, I think we can really shelter ourselves off and get into a bad place when we say nobody can tell me what it is, like how it is and what I can do or be or like, no one has a say to tell me anything. Like we all need checks and balances and even, if you have a large platform or you have a lot of people in your life, you can always take what other people are saying to you or their criticisms and stuff like that, but you gotta run it through a couple of filters. First of all, does this person have a right to say anything about me? If this person doesn't know you personally, if this person doesn't know your life, your story, that excludes a ton of people. And then second of all, do I care what this person thinks about me? There are people who are close to me in my life, very, very close to me, but I don't value their opinion about me because for any number of reasons, I just don't, what you think about me cannot influence me. It cannot influence what I do with my life because if I took your opinion and your opinion and your opinion and let that shape who I was becoming, I would be this weird warped version of me. It wouldn't be me. It would be the person that doesn't buck up against anybody who might be offended, you know? So like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm ranting about this. I guess just because I have been in a place where I let so many people affect me and oh my gosh, I was so miserable. I, 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 you know, and I still to this day get people saying, you're not as authentic as you used to be, or you're not as real as you used to be, or you're not whatever, whatever. And you know, first of all, people change, you know, and I believe I've changed for the better because I'm happier. Holy moly, I'm happier. I have not been this happy in my life ever, you know? I mean, I went through a really, really dark time mentally in 2015, 2016. You guys may have been able to pick up on that. You may not have. Maybe you related with that version of me more because maybe you're depressed or you're sad or you're insecure or you don't like yourself. And so maybe that version of me was more like suitable to who you are. And not to say anything bad, like we all go through phases. Like at that, when I was in that point in my life, I didn't like super positive people who would just do whatever they wanted and didn't care what anyone thought. Like that bothered me. Like it just did, because that, that wasn't me. I couldn't relate to that. And so you have to keep that in mind, but then also just like, <sighs> just be you. Just be your weird freaking self. Am I sweating? I just worked out, so I might have pit sweat, but <laughs> um, just be you. Be exactly who you want to be. And just ask yourself, is this making me happy? Is this harming anybody? Because if it harms anybody, obviously this cannot be the way that you're intended to be. This cannot be the way you should be. But am I happy? Does this hurt anybody? Does this honor what's in my heart? We all have this drive. Like we know, like we may be asking ourselves like, why am I here? What is my purpose? But I feel like in our hearts, we know what our purpose is. And for me, I know it's always gonna be to help people in a health and fitness arena and in a ministry based arena. Health, fitness, health and fitness and ministry, that's, that's me. That's my mind. And you guys don't always see everything as it relates to like my journey and my process and like where I'm going with my life. I try my hardest to kind of like clue you guys in and, and give you guys what you want about me. But you know, I also, it's so important to me at this point on YouTube to give you guys information, reviews, full days of eating, um, you know, videos about macros or fitness and stuff like that. So I know I've pulled back on the vlogs. I know that you guys, some of you guys really miss the vlogs and seeing into my day-to-day -day life. And I try to keep that in the rotation so that you guys still get what you want. But, um, you know, my heart is in helping people, not just, I don't know, being me, not being like, oh, look at my social media channels and it's all about me and compliment my hair and like, sh this is my house. And like, you know, it's all fun. I love doing that. that. I love sharing that with you guys. I will always love sharing that with you guys. But like, what serves me best is getting information to people who need it, helping people make decisions, helping people who feel like they don't have the tools necessary to get to where they wanna be. 
that's my heart is being able to provide that value for people you know like right now I'm, I'm really hustling I'm working a lot I'm trying to create a lot of free content so that I can get people free workouts you know that I can create maybe like a Facebook group that provides some element of accountability and coaching for free you know I'm, I'm doing all this stuff to just try and expand my reach and help as many people as possible and that was just like an unnecessary explanation of like me and what I am but like all this video that I want to say since it's now 15 minutes long is like be prepared on your journey of life for people to not like you not agree with your direction and have phases where they don't relate with you um, people no matter who you are are going to say you've changed you know and um, I really always hope that they do. I really do hope that along the way that I have people falling off who don't want to follow me, who don't want to be a part of this existence because then I will know I'm going to new levels. And when you go to new levels, you can't bring everybody with you. You just, people won't be able to, you know? And I feel like I want you guys to be okay with that. I want you guys to be okay with you going to new levels and not, and losing some people on that path, you know? It's bound to happen, and as long as you know that you are doing what's right for you, it's okay. You know, like, that's that's the whole premise of this video. Be okay with you. Know the direction that you want to take in your life with whatever it is that's, like, in your mind right now. I feel like during this video, there's, like, something in the back of most of your minds, like, this is, this is what I feel like. This is speaking to this part of my brain. You know, like, do it, and don't worry about what people think. You don't need their affirmation. You don't need their permission slip to do what it is that you want to do whether it's start a youtube channel or a business or do you want to drop out of college or you know whatever live your truth walk the like the walk that you want to walk it, it, live a life that you believe in and do not worry about the haters there there is going to be haters like i'm going to ruin the surprise for you now it's going to happen so okay guys Whew! that was so much off my chest but i just needed it I needed it off my chest. So I hope this video was helpful for somebody. And if not, then I, I don't know. Sorry. I'm sorry. I hope that one of my other videos is helpful to you. But oh, I probably talked so fast too. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is so long. Okay. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your support on my channel, for your support of my business. If you are a coaching client, um, if you follow me on social media, your support means so much to me. And I, I thank you if, if you're someone who's been here through the journey of Lynette. Thank you for your support and for letting me be me, letting me grow and change, even if it doesn't always suit you or your needs, but just not, you know, doing anything to hold me back from being who I want to be. So thank you guys so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will see you in the next one.